I'm gonna repay repay so I'm gonna go with the pointy pointy hey guys what's going on and welcome to my channel so for today's video I am going to be testing out the new Nykaa's The Brow Affair collection. Now they have come out with a total of five new launches out of which I picked out only three of them because those three are the ones which I felt that I would be using it on an everyday basis. So for the products that I picked up are the Nykaa Brow Girl Brow Definer in Bewitched Chestnut and the Brow On Point Micro Fine Pencil in the shade Wiccan Wand and finally the Oh My Brow Eyebrow mascara in Sirius Brown. So I think this is the first time that I have been genuinely happy about a new launch from Nykaa because I love eyebrow products. I have a huge collection of eyebrow products which I'll come to that in some time but on a day-to-day -day basis I do have a day job so for that the only thing I apply on my face is eyebrows, eyeliner, kajal and lipstick. That is it and I'm out of the door. But the irony is I'm not that great at doing my eyebrows. So that's that. So these are the existing eyebrow products that I have. And these are the pencil kind and there is uh, the mascara one as well from NYX. Uh, I have used the Benefit Goof Proof. Then you have the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And then we have a Wet n Wild one as well as I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And lastly we have is the brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills which is in clear. And coming to pomades, I do have the Benefit Cup Brow in full size. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown as well as the LA Girl Brow Pomade. So let me know on the comments down below if you want me to do like a comparison video between the Nykaa one, the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills one as well as the NYX one. Let me know that and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I do upload. Now let's jump right into the description, the pricing and everything else of these Nykaa brow products. Let me quickly talk about the pricing because they did kind of screw it up. So what had happened is I was put in a screenshot of the amount that it was initially at when I picked up these products. I think I picked it up as soon as it kind of launched. So basically for the micro fine pencil, it was priced at 475 Indian rupees. There was a 10% off because it just newly launched and I picked it up for 428, which is fine. And then I got the Brow Girl Brow Definer in Beavish Chestnut, which was at 475 Indian rupees and after 10% discount was 428. Wherein in the website right now, it is available at 450 Indian rupees as an MRP price. I'm like, what? So this price difference I noticed only today morning. I got, I ordered on Friday, received it yesterday, which is Saturday and today on Sunday. I was like, okay, let me film the video. And I just wanted to make like a mental pointers as to what all I need to cover. That's when I saw the price point and it has completely gone down. The Oh My Brow Eyebrow Mascara in Sirius Brown. Now that I picked up for 599 Indian rupees of MRP. After discount, it was 539 Indian rupees. Right now, at this time, the pricing of that product is about 350 rupees. That's it. And I'm like, why? Who made that last minute change of pricing? And the thing is, I'm so disappointed that I wish they could have sent an email to the people who actually bought it. So if you're one of those kind of people who have actually bought it, please check the fucking pricing. Because I had to email them today saying that this, I sent them the screenshots like what I'm showing to you guys right now, saying that this is the pricing, how much it was right now, this is it. What about the difference? What are you guys going to do? So I have emailed them. But if you are some of the few of them who have actually already purchased it, do have a double check on the pricing. I was just disappointed that it's a huge, huge online retail website. And this kind of goof up is like pretty not expected out of them. And also, I really wish they had that kind of a team where if you're changing the pricing, okay, 
but notify the customers who have already purchased that this has been there's been an error and this is what has happened so we are working on it or something they didn't do that i i just saw that today so this is what i wanted to cover firstly so i have emailed them today in the morning i haven't yet received a response but that's okay because it's a sunday so what i'll do is as soon as i do get a response which i think will be after i upload this video i will put it on the comments down below and pin the comment as well so that you guys can see it and i will mention it on the description box as well so that you can i don't know be updated if they actually followed through or they did something or not so that is that Whew, that was a long rant <laughs> okay so first i'm going to talk about is the nika brow girl brow definer now this packaging i really like the fact that it comes in this glossy kind of this mark because the micro one comes in a thinner kind of a line like you see here now to bear in mind all of these come in only one single shade and i hope that they kind of expand it to a little bit darker shades or a little bit lighter something in between because usually every brand they do have about two to three shades minimum to choose from so the brow girl brow definer and you have quite a lot of product in here so this is how much it comes in the usual formula of the brow definers are like these kind of eyebrow products are usually a bit on the waxier and a creamier side so that is how it is it is just your preference on how you would like it but this is how this one applies from the pointy side and from the other side this is how it is so the brow definer comes in 0.35 grams of product now for the description of the product uh, it is paraben free it is cruelty free it is dermatologically tested as well as it has argan oil in them now moving to the brow on point micro fine pencil now this is how the product looks it's nice and thin and uh, you take one side out the other side is a spoolie so there is this much of product available on this one now coming to the oh my brow mascara this is the packaging again the same black carton which is a bit smaller and the brown detailing on it and it comes like this it is tinted and it is in the shade serious brown so the eyebrow mascara is priced at 350 rupees for 4.2 ml so the eyebrow mascara is paraben free it is cruelty free dermatologically tested so once you open it it comes in a nice chubby kind of an applicator and this is how it is is it even applying let me shake it up like the tip of the mascara wand alone kind of picks up the product like this but the body part of it it does not pick up the product much so this is kind of disappointing because i feel that the tip of the wand kind of uh collects the product and it kind of applies but the overall body of it it doesn't so now we're going to move on to the application of the products hello and welcome to my bare face uh, the amount of breakouts i'm having recently it is so intense like even as a teenager i did not have these kind of a breakout all right so there are basically two kinds of people in makeup the first one is where they do their eye makeup first and then their base makeup that is foundation and concealer and the other kind of people are who do their foundation concealer first and then their eye makeup well i come in the first option like tada <laughs> So I kind of just personally prefer doing my eyebrows first and that's how I'm going to test these products as well. So let's zoom you guys in and uh, see what we have to work with. So I'm going to use the micro fine pencil first on the right side. So I'm going to start by brushing the eyebrow hair up. 
and now I'm gonna take the product and do like small strokes of lines and now for the above I'll start from here that's just generally how I do like the lower side will be from here and the upper side will be somewhere from here and now I'm going to fill in the eyebrows and I'm gonna take the spoolie end and blend through and just go over the places that I think need a bit of filling and yeah that is literally it See, this is the reason why I love doing my eyebrows is because it defines your whole fucking face. Like, look at this side. Kabao. Look at this side. Wow. So, yeah, it was pretty quick. It is very fast. It is a perfect formula. I feel from the first impression, like the first time applying it, it is right in between waxy and creamy. It's not too creamy. It's not too waxy as well. That is difficult to maneuver and adjust. And blend your eyebrows but I feel it has done a good job in filling in the eyebrows so this is good now for this eyebrow the patchy uneven shitty eyebrow I'm going to use is the brow definer now I feel so bad that I'm going to use this one but let's see what best we can do and as usual I'm just going to brush the eyebrows upwards so I'm just going to go with the pointy end of the brow definer and outline my eyebrows kind of alike I guess but yeah this is the eyebrow so this is the brow definer side and the micro pencil side is this one now I do personally prefer the micro pencil side because in this you can like do it the way how you would want it like you have complete control of it if you want it like natural or if you want it bold and everything even the formula is perfect and even the formula wise this is a bit more waxier like you have to go really light handed with this otherwise it will make your eyebrows look bold in like this if you do not prefer it that way so yeah now i'm going to use the nika oh my brow eyebrow mascara so like i mentioned earlier the bristles come pretty chubby and uh, we're just gonna go over and the same with this one as well So this is how my eyebrows are looking so far and I'll finish my full face of makeup and be right back. So this is the micro fine pencil side and this is the brow definer side and right off the bat I can tell you that I do prefer the micro fine pencil side. It gives you that control if you want a feathery eyebrows or if you want to darken it and fill it in more and I like the formula of it as well. So if you're looking into buying any one of the three products that I have discussed today, I would hands down recommend is the micro fine pencil. Now the brow definer one, it is not that bad. It is like the perfect balance, but I personally do not prefer it. And even the precision that it gives, I like the micro fine pencil side better than the brow definer side, if that makes sense. 
so for me the oh my brow eyebrow mascara is kind of like a so so product it's not like super great nor it's super bad it was like right slapped in the middle so for me it's kind of okay like i would be using it until i finish it but i don't think i'll be going back to repurchasing this one so this completes today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever i do upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests and i'll do that for you as well as do not forget to follow me on my socials which is it's nishanayar on instagram and it's nishanayar on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye